Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a sketch with me video. So we're going to be drawing two illustrations um, on separate sheets of paper. I have accepted the fact that I don't like working in sketchbooks just because I don't like, I, I like to be able to move the page around a lot. So I am going to be sketching on loose paper. This is a mixed media paper and these are the pieces. So I'm not gonna show you much of that. Let's just get into the video. I did wanna mention that I did end up making one of the illustrations a wallpaper available on my Patreon uh, for a dollar or more. So here it looks, this is what it looks like on my phone. And I will also be including uh, coloring pages for you guys to try if you would like. So that will be on my Patreon. These two illustrations will be coloring pages for you to try out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the sketch video. I am a little bit disappointed that I'm not a sketchbook person. It's taken me a long time to accept that because of all the artists that I follow and all the YouTube videos and the Instagram posts that I see of these beautifully done sketchbooks, just pages full of art. I just don't like being confined within a spined or a bound book. I just feel like um i just feel a little constricted so i like working on loose pages and um i think i may have found a workaround for that but we'll see how how that goes i i was thinking of buying one of those um I, i've seen it in art journal videos they're basically three ring binders and so i was thinking of binding my my illustrations which i'm going to be drawing in the same page size every time maybe different kinds of paper but the same page size every time and compiling it into that three ring binder to to achieve that sketchbook look um, it's pretty much all aesthetics for me about the disappointment of not being able to work in a sketchbook the art journal is seems like a different seems like a whole different thing i can work within that because i like the way everything looks but when i'm working on something like an illustration i like being free to just move the page around grab another page tear the page up stuff like that so um i don't know if anybody feels the same way about how there is that pressure for a sketchbook to look like sketchbooks we see online and again i i don't think i fully accepted that fact i may <laughs> have a phase again where i try to start a new sketchbook and just keep all my illustrations there but um, it's it's like a tiny problem. I just I've accepted that I just like working on loose pages
I tried my best to keep all the footage where I'm inking in real time and not cut off too much from the video clips because I think from previous videos anyway, you guys like watching me ink things. So I am using my go-to Pigma Micron size 08. It's my favorite waterproof ink pen, uh, second to my Stabilo 88. Uh, the Stabilo 88 I like more in terms of the size, but it's not waterproof. So this one is waterproof, so if I decide to do ink over an ink wash over it or watercolor, it works the best. Uh, so I, I highly recommend this pen, I really like it. Uh, so now I'm moving on to the next illustration, which started off as another witch in just a long skirt, but it ended up being a mermaid, as you will see towards the end of the video, or as we progress towards the sketch. And I did decide to pull out my light box and rework that because I did ink over it already, the full character, but then I decided to redo it. So I thought it read better because the pose where she's sitting on her and hugging her knees like that didn't really look that great. It looked too stiff to me. So I decided to just make her a mermaid. <laughs>
So here I pulled out my pencil just to get an idea of the changes that I want to make. You can't really see the pencil over the um, black marker <laughs> lines, but it helps me for some reason with my muscle memory to remember what I want to do and the changes I want to make. It, it's really weird, it doesn't make any sense, but it works for me. So I pull out my light box, uh, I struggle a little bit here with my washi tape just to get that stuck onto the light box. Uh, I bought this light box about a year, more than a year ago, and I really do not regret investing in a good light box. So this was this one was about $100. Uh, it's a Huon brand. I will uh, list the model down below, but it's, um, it's really great and it's portable too. So if you'd like to check that out, it is... Uh, it's down below in the description box. So yeah, now I'm doing the bottom half with pencil here just so I can get an idea. I was still holding to the I, I was still holding on to the idea that she's gonna have a long skirt. And I even toyed with the idea of giving her like tentacles or something like that underneath this long skirt, but in the end I decided to just give her like a quote unquote mermaid tail, but I kind of see it more as like a, a seal. Or like a sea lion that's her bottom half I like I like that look so um, you can interpret it as a mermaid tail or as a seal tail whatever you see once I color it in Any ideas?
and I'm adding some like seaweed and seashells underneath. I was uh, after I had colored it, I, I realized that I could have added like sand or something, like they were sitting on sand. And the cat has to be there obviously just to add a little bit more witchy magic because originally she was a witch. So yeah, I am doing the seaweeds there and I think it looks great uh, for just a square image. This one doesn't really work as a wallpaper. I was, I'm, I'm experimenting with creating digital wallpaper rewards on my Patreon. So the first illustration, you'll see me work on it really quickly and briefly on Photoshop at the end of the video. I didn't uh, screen record the whole thing because I thought it was too redundant, but I do show the end result at the end of the video. So just doing the finishing touches on this illustration and then I'm going to be moving on to watercoloring both of them. I am using my Prang watercolor set that I've had for many, many years. When I started watercoloring, this one was the palette for me. It's a, it's a kid palette, it's really cheap, but in terms of like planning out or just sketching, I think it's the perfect watercolor because it's not intimidating, it's cheap, it's simple. Uh, the colors do turn out very dull at the end, but what can you do? It's a cheap watercolor set, but it's one of my first loves really. So I do pull this out a lot when I am planning out like colors for, for illustrations and sketching like this so it works well the colors do end up really dull but as a sketch it's all good uh, yeah so that's uh, I decided her whole body was gonna be a seal and then her arms are skin toned which is kind of odd but she's a magical creature so it's it's all good and then the snail um, I think there are underwater snails or sea snails that do look like land snails i was thinking they would be they wouldn't be shelled but i think it works it looks really cute i really like how it turned out i like the pose of the cat as well i think it's translated similar to the previous cat um oh wait no i'm gonna be coloring in the cat next I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So I'm moving on to the first illustration that I inked. This one is very witchy. It's not too, there's no shame in drawing Halloween-y stuff in August because it's coming up. We're, we're getting to October. I tried to add a little bit of lighting with the way I was coloring this. Not too intense, just because it's, again, it's just 
a doodle, just a sketch. Um, but before I actually watercolor these, I scanned the lines on um, to my computer so I can color it in digitally. So after I did that, I started watercoloring them. So that's how I got the watercolor pages. Again, if you're interested, <laughs> they will be linked down below. And yeah, so I had a lot of fun doing these and I am going to push and make more uh, sketch with me videos. The next video I think is going to be an art journal page. I tried to, I wanted to give you guys a break from art journal spreads. So I, d I decided to do a sketch with me drawing video this week. Next week is going to be an art journal video. I'm, unless I don't get to editing it, something comes up or something, but yeah, so stay tuned next week. It's going to be another art journal, but I hope you enjoyed this sketch with me. I'm going to leave it uh, to the music, just watch me paint and uh, I'll check back with you at the very end. Here is the very brief screen recording of me coloring it in on Photoshop. I didn't record the whole thing because my computer was laggy that morning when I was recording it, but uh, I really like how the colors turned out. And again, this is available as a phone wallpaper on my Patreon if you are interested. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you, if you want more, let me know if you have any comments, suggestions, leave it down below. But Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the vlog if you watch those on Friday. If not, I will see you in the next art video next week. So have a great rest of your week and thanks again for watching.